Good morning, everyone. Hey, Kruetzi. Hello in Kruetzi. It's the 9th of July and the Leru Doctoral Summer School is about to start. Let's discover citizen science together. I decided to join the Leru Summer School to meet like-minded people. Those who are driven by the power of inclusion, not exclusion, by cooperation, not competition, and by a deep sense of responsibility. We got to know two PhD candidates from the Crowdwater Citizen Science Project. This showed me that I, as a student, can already take the first steps into network science. The experience of collecting data was different from what I learned at university. Such a fantastic mix of backgrounds, experiences and nationalities. Absolutely thrilled to be a part of this summer school. Citizen science very much relates to public engagement and that's something that I've been trying to explore in my research. I'm keen to learn more and use the knowledge that will be developed in the course of this programme in my future research. Citizen science, a very inspiring concept that I don't yet know that much about, but with extremely high value to me. I'm looking forward to explore the field and maybe I can even set up a side project to link my PhD and develop tools to help Parkinson's disease patients in their daily routine. One of the questions I ask myself, are there any tools for data protection? Today I have learned that all the scientists involved are very careful on how to collect and use the data so it's for the best use of the projects and everybody involved. I would like to know what has citizen science achieved so far? One of the greatest achievements of citizen science is awareness. Awareness of the fact that science can be done in a different way not only by scientists, but also for people. One question that I brought with me to this programme was how do we ensure reliability of results of citizen science projects? It was good to see that codes of good practice are developed both in Europe and in the US. The crowdfunding workshop was great to start thinking about projects we would like to do and what strategies to use to set up a successful crowdfunding campaign. It was full of tips, examples and online resources. I learned what it takes to generate an effective marketing strategy while sharpening communication and teamwork skills. <laughs> the storytelling workshop was a great way to get reintroduced to film and writing. Learning about the theory helped me to be aware of details and to construct a scientific story about my own PhD. I'm certainly going to use the learned techniques in the future. Every project has different challenges and every team develops distinct dynamics. It's been a great experience with a positive learning curve and fruitful discussions and reflections on a topic very relevant to everybody. For early career researchers, citizen science can be both an advantage but also a risk. An advantage because they can reach many more people and train themselves in public engagement. A risk because it's really difficult to have a successful project in a scale within the lifetime of a research project which is one, two years. So the best thing is to figure out which project they can join to. The hack day today was demanding but also a lot of fun. I've certainly learned a lot that I didn't know before the summer school. What do we mean by citizen science? What projects, groups and associations are out there? And how to go about starting your own citizen science project? I loved the process of creating a citizen science project. It was like being introduced to a new mindset. It was great to see how an idea turns into a project that could really make a difference was great to discuss, face and solve common challenges and think about follow-up projects related to my research field. Adios! Bye! Goodbye!